Hello. You probably know that one of the big challenges in reading the news in English is new vocabulary. In this video, we will look at some strategies that you can use when you see new, unknown words in a news article. Together, we call these strategies IGD, or Ignore Guess Dictionary. You may have had this experience. You're reading a news article in English, and you come across a word that you have never seen before or that you don't understand. You stop reading and think hard about this word. Maybe you use a dictionary or website to find the definition or translation. After thinking about the word for a long time, you can't remember what the sentence or paragraph was about and it's difficult to keep reading the article. Stopping to look up new words is usually not helpful because it makes it harder to understand the general meaning of the article. Instead, we suggest you follow this strategy, IGD. That stands for Ignore, Guess, Dictionary. Let's talk about each step in more detail. When you first see a new or difficult word, try to ignore it. That means don't worry about it at that moment, just keep reading. You may find that you can understand the sentence and the paragraph without understanding this single word. It sounds strange to ignore new words, but it's a good idea when you are reading an English language news article for the first time. If you can't understand the sentence or paragraph without this word, try to guess the meaning by thinking about the topic of the article, your knowledge of the topic, and the other words in the sentence. As an example, let's look at a sentence from our reading about media freedom. The third section describes the news website Ushahidi. The last sentence about Ushahidi says that it helped reporters track the Ebola virus. Let's say you don't know the word track. Let's see if we can guess the meaning. We can see that track is something that reporters do. If we look at the sentence before, we see that reporters follow the fighting in Syria. So, we can guess that track means something like follow. Our guess makes sense because we know that it's important to follow the movement of a virus like Ebola. Last, you can use a dictionary to look up the meaning of a new word. Only use a dictionary after you have finished reading the article at least once. Dictionaries and translation apps can be very helpful, but don't let them interrupt your reading. Wait until after you have a good sense of the general meaning of the article, then use the dictionary for more in-depth vocabulary study. So, in this video, we looked at the IGD strategy for new words. Remember, that's ignore, guess, dictionary. We have another video about an additional strategy for guessing the meaning of new words. Be sure to check that out too.